Welcome to the special edition of Ultimate Survival Tips. I'm David, coming to you from the beautiful coastal region of South Carolina, where I'm hanging out with family and friends, enjoying some R&R. &R. Well, today I'm gonna to show you a great coastal high-protein food source, the knob whelk. Now, what I'm gonna show you is we're gonna actually find some whelks. And here's a whelk. He was, he was right on the edge of the surf. And in the spring and the fall, they will be more inclined to be found on the edge of the surf because of the mild climate. But in the winter and the summer, these whelks may be, let's see, 50 meters. So they might be 150 feet out in the ocean. So they're gonna be way out there. You're not gonna find them in the summer and the winter. But springtime and fall, you can beach comb for these. And these are great eating. We're talking probably 200 calories in this guy and almost 100% protein. So let's take him and we'll go boil some water and cook him up and we'll talk more over on the peninsula here. Okay, so now we're over at a seawall and we're gonna prepare our knob whelk and I'm gonna show you all the cool stuff you need to know. But one thing I wanna show you first is the difference in size between these guys. So here's one that's a bit smaller Here's the one that we showed in the video earlier, and here's the one that's, that's old and obviously has not had a whelk in it for a long time. But you can see the difference in size. And so this guy is probably gonna end up being a good, you know, eight, nine, 10 inches long when you cook them up. And that's gonna be about a full meal. Uh, these aren't bad, tasty treats, but these guys are probably gonna be three, four, or five inches, maybe. Definitely a nice breakfast. Lots of protein. Whelks are a, essentially a snail, and these shells just kind of, over a long time, uh, they get built around them. They've got kind of a protective coating right here for when people stick their fingers in there and they really don't like it that much. But they do kind of have a foot, and they pull themselves along the sand. They actually do have a mouth. They are a predator they like seafood too. I can't blame them. Can you believe that? That is a predator right there of the ocean. So anyway, big difference in size. I'm not sure which one of these two we're gonna cook up. It's gonna depend on our pot. So let's look at the uh, stuff that we're gonna need to cook these guys out here on the beach. And so I'm gonna use my gear pods stove system. If you haven't seen the full review of the gear pods, system I have done a full review and you can check that out in our on our channel okay so got that obviously we're gonna need some water because we're gonna boil these we're gonna boil them for four minutes got my traditional cheap El Cheapo Gatorade bottle with um, actually fresh water in it we're not gonna use salt water for this got my lighter because why rough it until you have to start our fire. Uh, what else do we need? Oh, I've got my, got my Mora knife. Use that to cut it up because there's, there's actually a couple of different sections of these guys when we uh, cook them up and there's a piece we need to cut off. And then I'm just going to use this as my, this is just a, a recycled piece of plastic from a one gallon milk jug and we're going to use that to cut on. And I think that's it. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is we're just going to cut away and I'm going to start a fire with my gear pods uh, solid fuel stove here and we're going to get some water boiling and then we'll stick one of these guys in and boil it up. Okay so I got the fire going here so I'm just going to put some water in here first until we're almost overflowing and I know the whole beast is covered and then uh, I'm just going to put this on I'm just going to leave it boil. We'll see how long that takes. Should take probably four or five minutes. Okay, so um, we're back and we have cooked the whelk for well over four minutes in our solid fuel cook stove here. So I'm gonna grab it on out of here. Okay, there he is. Let's be careful because it is gonna be hot. Okay, so you basically know he's done when we can almost pull him right out. See, 
that. That's that's a Dunwalk right there. Okay. Now we have this almost like a cool cartilage type guitar pick. We're not gonna eat that. That comes right off. And that's another sign that you'll know that he's fully cooked because that's gonna just peel off. And when he's alive, it's not gonna do that because he needs that for protection. That basically closes him in and protects him from other predators, okay? So let me just get my little cutting board here and I probably got sand on him, which is kind of nasty, but you could eat this whole thing. But honestly, I'm gonna cut some of this off. I'm gonna cut this part off just because it looks nasty. And the dark, last night I ate the dark stuff and you could do that but I'm just gonna cut it off because everywhere I read said to go ahead and cut it off, okay? Now, this kind of butt end here, this is gonna be a lot chewier. So you could just pop this in your mouth and chew for about 10 minutes, or we can just chop it up into smaller pieces. And this is often used in seafood restaurants. They can use this instead of conks and salads. And they'll usually dice it up nice and small. And when it's nice and small, it doesn't really seem like it's quite as chewy as it is if you eat a, a big piece. And then this stuff's, this is all like primo, primo welkness here. And uh, I'm just gonna cut this up. Okay, there you go. Now we're gonna go ahead and eat it. <laughs> I am gonna eat it. And like in a restaurant, you'd probably have like some seasoning and butter, but honestly, this is very good. So there you have it. <laughs> I'm gonna have to talk with my mouth full. because I chucked it all in there. But it's a knob whelk found all over the Atlantic seacoast of the United States. Other various forms of snails are found all over the seacoast of the world, like this. Many of them can be eaten for survival food. I got a lot of protein this morning. Ha! It's all gone. We're just taking a look at how to find, cook, and eat a great source of protein if you're ever stuck on a seacoast, coastal whelk. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side and remember, be prepared because you never know.